I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education. We're here at MIT to ask some big questions. Well, what is the best thing about MIT? I'd probably say the people. The thing is, um, people at MIT are very spontaneous and they're all about like just doing it. You know, if they, I have an idea and um, you know, let's go do something crazy, build a frickin' roller coaster on East Campus, like we're gonna build a frickin' roller coaster, you know, we're gonna do it. So No, but like that happened like last year. You yeah, built a roller yeah. coaster? I don't build a roller coaster. That's awesome. Uh, the people for sure. Lots of diversity, lots of great people here. I would I would agree they're also they're also very nice. He didn't mention that. Nice, nice people, nice. diverse people. Um, you get to know a lot of people who seem very normal, but they're actually super brilliant. And um, you don't know that initially, but after you hang out with them, you realize that they're, they're both super smart and super cool. And these people are my friends. So. Also, I would say the people. Um, it's all very down to earth people, the people that I'm and with, um, you wouldn't necessarily expect them to be the most smart people in the world, but then when you start doing stuff with them, I'm like, oh my goodness, they're genius, so. Uh, I think it's just like acceptance of having a passion for something nerdy. Just not even something that grandiose, like just really little nerdy things, silly things that we share that like connects us and then the, the support they give me and then I give them back. I think that's what I like about MIT the most. Uh, what's the worst thing about MIT? Uh, <laughs> the work is very challenging, but I think that also, like, is also a great thing as well. I don't think I don't think there really is a bad thing about this place. Uh, for me, I think it's between either some of the really it's really intense academic pressure. Like the culture here is very much like if you're not sleeping, you're doing it right, or if you're not taking like as many classes or as many units as can, you're not doing it right. And that doesn't, it's always, it's not always the best environment for like people's mental health, for, for, you know, for people who maybe don't have the same academic background coming into MIT. And I think that kind of culture of like, if you're not like suffering, you're not doing it right. And like, <laughs> you can, you should be able to like enjoy MIT and take things you love and not be drowning. I'd say the worst thing is the homework. The homework? The homework. You know, here in particular, it's a, you have to know what you're getting into, like it's hard work. Um, and you gotta be prepared to do it, basically. Lack of free time. At research universities in general, uh, a lot of the professors are incentivized to focus on their research and do um, what may not necessarily be in the best interests of the student, but what will get them tenure and what will get them more funding for their research. What does a typical Saturday night look like for you guys? <laughs> was that laugh? Is there a so what happened last night? The party scene's pretty big. Um, people people love to go out and party on the weekends. Um, I don't remember what happened. But <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, is that a good good night uh, then? Yeah, we'll call that a good night. Okay. All right. Perfect. 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 Weekends night. Um, usually hang out with friends. Yeah. Uh, there's no such thing as typical. I might go out partying, I might be working, I might be building a friggin' roller coaster. <laughs> as I, uh, you do, yeah. Yeah, so like, it, there's nothing as like, what did I do last night? Uh, what was last night? Saturday. Night, Friday night I was at a concert. Uh, Saturday night I was chilling and watching a movie with my cousin who came out for the weekend. Um, Amazing. Yeah, so like, it, there's, like, there's certainly craziness if you want craziness, but there's also quietness if you want quietness, so. Um. There's a lot to do on Saturday nights. Um, a good portion of fraternities are having social events most Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Peace at parties. Peace at parties. Just kidding. <laughs> kidding, okay. What, what is a peace at party? We peace at and chill. Peace at and chill, great, great. Love that, love that. If you remember, what did you write your college application essay about? Uh, so MIT is a bit different because they don't do the common app. Uh, so MIT is like, five or six like short one paragraph essays so um let's see i did one about uh in my hometown like jumping off lo the local bridge like uh you know into the river below like that's that's something that everyone does i did something about that uh they asked kind of what do you do with free time what do you do to kind of release and i said play guitar um and just kind of went in on um what music means to me and um I don't know how I just kind of like to spend my free time, how I like to relax. So I'm working in HIV uh, vaccine 
lab and I wrote something in line of that. I got interested in an HIV problem uh, while I was senior at college and uh, I related to that and it worked. Uh, I wrote about like uh, like woodworking, which is something I was really involved in in high school, like playing piano, I think. I think I honestly just wrote about singing. Um, I was in a cappella group here, and I, I just have always, like, since I was little, sung, and it was just cool to me to be able to be like, okay, they just want to hear about something I genuinely love. Right, like. Right. So for me, the one that I remember the most is um, they wanted us to talk about a like leadership opportunity that we've had. And uh, for me, I wrote about the time when um, my family and I, we went on a mission trip to Juarez, Mexico. And um, I talked about how kind of like interacting with that culture and um, having a leadership opportunity of kind of like uh, being in charge of the construction. We built a house for a family down there. Um, and being able to use like Spanish to um, mingle the cultures together. Um, I just talked about that and how that kind of influenced my leadership approach. So. I wrote about my commitment to martial arts. I've been teaching in Cambridge uh, martial arts for a few years and I've been uh, practicing for like 10 or 11, oh, 13 years now. Um, and so that's just like a big part of my life and uh, just giving back to the community is like something I love doing. So. Amazing, amazing. What, what martial art? Uh, it's called Subak Do. It's a derivative of Taekwondo. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So apparently when you uh, walk around MIT, sometimes you walk past um, this. If you're interested in hearing more about the world's top universities, don't forget to subscribe.